In this video, we will show you how to replace your front ABS wheel speed sensor on this Ford Fusion. This will be located inside of your front wheel well. Let's get into it. Safely raise and support the front of the vehicle, we can start removing the wheel. To remove your wheel, you have five 19 millimeter lug nuts. We'll get those out of the way and we can remove this. Take hold of the wheel, remove it from the vehicle. With the wheel out of the way, we have a clear view of our ABS wire making its way across the front strut and the body of the vehicle. And in behind this area where your sway bar link and the front strut is, you're going to find the electrical connector for that ABS wire. To disconnect this, you want to use a small pocket screwdriver or pretty much any small prying device. There should be a red locking tab on the bottom of the connector that you just want to carefully start pressing out and away. Ours looks like it's actually already pressed out and it should have a little lip here. Continuing on from there, there's actually a locking tab just in that same area that that red locking tab is. You want to squeeze this in. If you have a hard time squeezing there, you could use your small prying device on the other side and pry up against the locking tab on the inside there and pull this out of place. A quick inspection for corrosion on both sides. Continue on dislodging the ABS wire from its mounting points. We'll start up at the body here and make our way down along the front strut. Off this out of place right here. Quick inspection of the bracket as we continue on. As for this one on the front strut, you just want to push it towards the center of the vehicle here, flexing it away. Inspect that bracket. As you follow this down, the ABS wire should actually be pressed right into the front strut. Our clip is broken, but typically you can just pry it right out of place using a small prying device. Continue following that down all the way to the ABS sensor, which is located in the front steering knuckle. Down along the knuckle, you can see the mounting bolt for the ABS wire holding it to that steering knuckle. We'll use an eight millimeter to remove the bolt. It's a good idea to use some penetrant in this area as well. Inspect the mounting bolt, set it aside. Now it's common for ABS sensors to break off in the steering knuckle. Use your penetrant and a small prying device and gently start prying this out and away. There it is, friend. Let's clean the mounting area. We'll just use a wire brush. Now I am not going to use any parts cleaner inside of this port. Inside the port leads directly to the wheel bearing and you do not want to cause any damage. Essentially, just make sure there's no debris in this area. If there is, you could use some compressed air if necessary. Okay, friend, let's prepare to install our brand new sensor. The first thing we'll do is apply a little bit of lubricant along the shafted area of the sensor very close to where the mounting point is. This will help prevent moisture from making its way in this area. When applying this, make sure nothing makes its way all the way down towards the sensing unit here. We don't want anything interfering with the signal. Let's start getting this in place. Just slide it right on in there. Shouldn't take very much force and you definitely should not have to use a hammer of any sort. We have our mounting bolts. You can use some anti-seize on this if necessary. Never any thread locker. Start it in, snug it up. Once it's snug, we'll torque that to 80 inch pounds. Start resecuring the ABS wire on the strut here. This just presses directly into this small port. Line it up, press it in. Now we'll follow this up to its next mounting point on the front strut. We have a small bracket. Now this is going to have to circle around the backside of the sway bar link and the front strut. Now before we put in our next mounting point, let's go with the connector. We're going to line up the locking tab area. We'll press this in as far as possible. Listen for a click from that, and give it a light tug, and then lock it in with the red locking tab along the bottom. Try pressing it in with this small screwdriver. There we are. One last check on that, and we can remount the last mounting area here into the plastic bracket. Now it's time to install our front wheel. We'll get this in place. Start on all five of our 19 millimeter lug nuts. Once we have them bottomed out, get the wheel safely back on the ground and torque each of them to 100 foot pounds. Now 
With the wheels safely back on the ground, we'll be torquing these in a crisscross manner to 100 foot-pounds. Torqued. Okay friend, we finished the installation of our ABS wheel speed sensor. At this point, you want to go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test and make sure you have no lights on the dash. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.